welcome again in the Sala Yetu, I'm Teacher Christians. Today we are going to see the first stage that you should understand where how to speak English. The first stage, after greetings, we know we have, we have to understand the tense. Okay? The tense. The tense are the best things for us to understand English how to speak. Because every English conversation is being relying on two tenses. And we know that we have three types of tenses. And these three types of tenses are present tense, we have past tense, and future tense. Each tense is being divided into four main categories. If I start with present tense, we have simple present tense, we have a part we have present continuous tense, we have present perfect tense, we have present perfect continuous. See, this is present and tense. Present is being ended by T, and the word tense started by T. So we pronounce only one T, that is silent letter, we find silent letter T, present tense, not present tense, ah, come on, we say present tense, together, good, if we go back again to the second type of tense, which is past tense, it is past T, past T is ended by T, and tense started by T, sure sound is there, and silent T is there, we say past tense, Together. So in the past tense, also is being divided into four main categories, which is simple past or simple past. We have past continuum, we have past perfect tense, and we have past perfect continuum tense. Okay, you can say even continue or continuous. You are correct. If we go back also to future. Future tense is being divided into four main categories, which is simple future, and we have future and continuous, and then future perfect, and then future perfect continuous. So, if we understand where these three types of tense and its four main categories, we will start the journey of understanding where how to make a correct and good synthesis. Don't mix up to use the future tense in present time or to use the present tense in future time. That's not good. That's not good. So for us to understand where this this tense, please just, just be with me from the beginning of this lesson up to the end of this lesson. You will be able to understand where about these tenses. So today we are going also to see the first part, which is present tense, and I will show you the first category of that tense. Okay? If we talk about the present tense, present tense it is it always state or express the things that are happening of that day. Together, what are you doing? Or what do you do? That is present time. If we go back to take the first category, which is simple present, it used it to express the habitual actions. Habitual actions. The action that you always do or someone do. So what is he doing? Or what does he do every time? Okay, oh, what do we do? Let me start. In, in simple present, we say, if you take the first person singular, I, and the first person plural, we, the second person singular, you, and which is resembling second person plural, you. Not only that, but also the same person plural, they, we are nothing at the very
We are nothing at the veil. We don't add anything. The verb stand is how it is in present time. Because it expresses the things that you always do, or we always do, or they always do. Together, for instance, I go, I go to school. You come home. You write the notes. They run to school. We cook some food. The verb still there and it is. Don't say, are you going? Not wrong, my dear. We speaking. No, that is wrong. I go. We speak. Together? Oh, that's nice. Not only that, but also there is a lot of verbs, English verbs that you can use. For instance, I read a book. We speak English. You cook, you get it. They drive a car. You want two names, for instance. John and Joseph go to school. Amina and Asher run to the market. Teacher and Madam teach in the class. That's nice. It means that already this is a habitual action which are always be done. Not only that, my dear, but this. There are some indications that can make you to understand that this is in present time. Especially for the students, take care of it. For instance, in the present time or in simple present, you can get the things like the word like always, normal, usual, oftenly, and the word every. The word every also you can add other things in front of it. You're gonna say every day, every time, every morning, every evening. So if you know other more indications that it shows in simple present tense, please just write a comment down there. Write a comment down there and then we'll resign your comment and we'll get your comment. Okay? That's nice. I hope you enjoyed this lesson from the beginning up to this time. So now please something that I would like to advise you with here, make more practice at home. Practice much you will understand these things. If you want to practice, you cannot understand it. Make a practice even the matter of making sentences, make a sentences together. Good. But don't forget to type the subscription button below so that you will be the first one to receive our videos. On the coming lesson, we will go on to touch another part of the test that we will be discuss today. And you are with me, Teacher Christian, from the beginning up to this, uh, up to this time. I welcome you to enjoy Miss Elimita Natanayeto with the, uh, the sponsors of this videos. Let's meet another time. See you.